Hey, I'm back again with a quick video of the latest version of my mod manager, version 1.2. I made a change in your listing of mods here, something that's a lot more efficient and takes up a lot less room on your hard drives, I guess, and solves a few problems with the merged mods. So you can see I have a list of mods I, I use for testing on here. And I could merge these and combine them into the same thing right here, my merged mods. You can see it's the same list. Uh, this works great if you're just playing for the week and then you wanna update the next week or whatever. But if anybody makes a change to one of these mods and updates it, this is no longer able to be used. You have to actually recreate this whole list in here and then recreate this mod with it. So what I came up with is a way that you can right click here and save this list. So instead of actually merging these and then basically creates a copy of all these files and merges them into a new mod so you have duplicates of everything, you can just save this list. So if, if I save this list, click save list, it opens this up and you can just save the list in here. My list, save, and then instead of, if one of these changes and I reinstall it, it actually loads it off of this. So if you hit clear list and you open this back up and you wanna play your combination, you just hit load list and there's my list. Double click it, open it up, and all the files are in there. So any changes made to this individual mod in your extracted mods folder would automatically be added to this list. And then you just click install mods and it installs it on the mods folder. So just something to consider when uh, merging mods from now on is to use those lists because it doesn't add really any more hard drive space at all, where if you actually merge the mods and create a copy, it does. And then if there's a problem with one mod inside that combo or list, if I go back down to my the one I created, my merged mods, if any one of these has an issue in an upcoming update, I can no longer use this. I actually have to remake this whole list. So, Just a, one of the new features I added to, to version 1.2. So. Another added feature on this version, if you go into settings, you can now enable extract changes when updating. If you enable that, this is more for people who do mods. It will, every time this updates, to the latest data folder, it will actually extract all the changes and create a mod called this week's changes. And if you right click on that and select edit mod, you will see that this is a list of all the changes that were made this week, this past week. And you can go through and check them out uh, to see if there's anything that might cause problems with your mod, or if there's a problem with one of your mods, you can use this to try to track it down. So you can see they made lots of changes in the item static with the uh, decay this past week. They added decay for everything. Uh, that was one of the major changes. And you can just go through it and see the changes that were made. If you like my videos, uh, hit the subscribe and like button, and we'll see you next time.